Welcome to BICG's webinar series. Today, we will be talking about OBIEE 11G, specifically the integration of OBIEE and SBASE, as well as other performance management integration capabilities with OBIEE. My name is Amy Mayer, and I am the president and founder of BI Consulting Group. Along with me today, I have Christian Screen, who will be leading us through today's presentation. Christian is a solution engineer for BI Consulting Group, and he is uh, one of our individuals who is unique in the sense of he is very well versed in both business intelligence and enterprise performance management capabilities. He's got over six years of experience with both S-Base and Oracle Business Intelligence, as well as he's an excellent uh, communicator, uh, both written and uh, uh, can give great presentations. Um, he's got a, a jam-packed day today as he's given some training for us on 11G at one of our customers, as well as uh, helping us out with today's webinar. So uh, without further ado, welcome Christian Screen. Hi, thanks Amy for that great introduction, I appreciate it. I welcome everybody um, to today's webinar, OBI 11G and uh, S-Base, as well as the Enterprise Performance Management uh, Suite, um, Oracle Base. Um, what I want to talk about today is um, clearly EPM and integration with 11G. Um, I do want to mention that um, the BICG University classes for OBI 11G have now begun. We're offering several classes from ranging from report and dashboard design all the way to OBI 11G architecture, um, metadata development, etc. So uh, you can always check our website, biconsultinggroup.com, for inf more information on our BICG University classes. As Amy mentioned, um, I'm a solutions engineer with BICG, part of the OBIE 11G task force. And basically what we're doing at the task force is um, working with Oracle um, very closely to ensure that um, we are very well informed about OBI 11G um, from all aspects and able to deliver um, very good guidance as well as um, solutions and implementation techniques uh, to our clients. We've been part of the OBI 11G beta program before it was its um, alpha release, release one, and um, so we're very closely um, oriented with OBI 11G at this point. Um, again, what we're talking about today is OBI 11G and EPM integration. Uh, we're going to be talking about kind of what are some of the hot topics, um, how it works, and uh, why we like it. And uh, one of the challenges that I had putting this presentation together was that there's just so much information out there um, that we could throw into a single one-hour webinar. And at the same time, we have to realize that um, we have a, a wide array of audience. So we, we're going to have our, our technical people, we're going to have our functional people, and we're going to have the individuals in between. So we've geared this webinar to kind of touch on um, several of those audiences. So there's a little something for everybody. Um, I'm really excited about the integration between Oracle uh, EPM and uh, OBI 11G and what it can do for our clients and uh, likewise clearly for your organization. Uh, we're going to talk about um, you know basically what is um, Hyperion in the Enterprise Performance Management or is Hyperion before Oracle purchased them. Um, kind of looking just a real quick look at uh, the full suite. Uh, we're going to look at S-Base as a data source and um, we're going to talk a, a little bit about uh, Oracle's new licensing package which basically combines OBI 11G and um, and S-Base to, to really bundle those two together for the clients, for their clients. Um, we're going to look at some of the advantages of integrating S-Base um, and S-Base OLAP technology, a lot of advantages there. Uh, HFM is a data source. Um, then we're going we're to talk about a business case for integrating um, Hyperion Financial Management, HFM. And uh, the reason for that is because HFM is very new to OBI 11G. And um, if you're looking at doing this integration, you have to kind of have a reason why you'd want to do that and um, be able to sell that. Um, we're going to be looking at um, Oracle S-Base Analytics link for HFM. Um, and then of course, part of the integration between EPM and OBIE um, has to do with the new OBI 11G Action Framework, uh, which has a lot more capabilities than just integrating with um, Oracle EPM, but um, it's very solid for that integration. And then of course, for our technical people, we will do just a real brief um, high-level, mid-level look at some of the technical um, items uh, for this discussion, and then we'll wrap it up. 
So jumping into it, um, I, I would suspect that most of the individuals who are attending this webinar have some degree or, or some, some level of knowledge about um, Oracle um, EPM um, suite. And uh, basically, uh, Oracle purchased um, Hyperion's uh, products or purchased Hyperion, and enterprise performance management was really Hi Hyperion's bread and butter. And uh, performance management applications provide an effective solution um, an integration strategy. Uh, we've got the planning tools um, and really execute into a seamless process. Um, they're a modular suite of integrated applications. Uh, they go, work well with Oracle systems as well as non-Oracle systems. You can break each of these EPM applications up or you can um, deploy them together and, and typically they work better in a strategic integrated fashion. Um, but, you know, for example, a lot of people just use S-Space, but of course there's more tools that integrate with S-Space that make it very, very powerful. Um, most people know that Oracle S-Space is really core to most of the enterprise performance management tools. Um, some of those enterprise performance management tools have a relational database as a core, but of course S-Space is uh, multi-dimensional, multi-dimensionally structured and it's uh, referred to as OLAP technology. And uh, of course, uh, several reporting tools exist in the EPM stack. And uh, with this integration between OBI 11G and those reporting tools coming out of the EPM stack, uh, Oracle's basically saying, if you have OBI 11G or looking at OBI, uh, here's your, your, your one-stop shop, and we're allowing this very nice integration with the EPM stack. So you have your reporting in one place. And uh, of course, there's, uh, there's a lot of reasons why you would want to integrate uh, OBI 11G and Oracle EPM uh, tools together. And um, just kind of looking at um, some of our customers who might have been um, having Oracle Business Intelligence in their organization in the past, and I'm talking specifically about Oracle Business Intelligence 10 and 10G, um, one of the biggest issues there was that when you integrated SBase, uh, it didn't have real great integration functionality for hand handling uh, unbalanced or, or what's um, is now being called skipped hierarchies uh, for metadata modeling. You could actually bring it in, but with a little bit of work, a little bit of um, uh, workarounds, um, you could get that functionality. But then on the front end, it didn't look as clean. And so now on the 11G, you've got a real nice intuitive drill down capability that really handles that unbalanced or those ragged, jagged hierarchy structures um, like you're used to seeing them in an S-based outline. And then of course, alternate hierarchies are supported. Alias tables are supported. Um, this is really great if you're using um, multilingual um, exercises or if you have multilingual data and you're, you're used to using alias tables. Um, uh, User-defined attributes um, are also um, capable of being um, integrated as columns, um, which is really great because what we're talking about now is really bringing in all of your S-based metadata and integrating that with OBI. Um, measures are supported. Um, you can bring in your measures, so if you have an accounts dimension, uh, you can bring that in as, as individual columns or you can look at it as an um, individual um, me measure hierarchy, just like an accounts dimension. Um, you can integrate uh, between OBI E reports and dashboards and EPM reporting. So we're going to look at that in today's webinar, how we can integrate um, an OBI E report with um, possibly some of the financial reporting, so um, HFR. And then, of course, in 10G, um, single sign-on was available for us. Um, we had to use a cost, custom authenticator in the OBIE, um, and so that still exists for us. Now, I'm sure some people would have the question in this webinar, and I've gotten it in the past. Um, in OBIE 10G, um, the entire workspace uh, suite was able to integrate in with OBIEE. And uh, we've been told by Oracle that the full-blown integration, so we're actually able to incorporate um, workspace and able to get that drop down to go to OBI um, in workspace, uh, won't be actually released until the, the next patch, which is supposed to be due out um, the first of um, 2011, so the first of the, of the new year. And so just to kind of put an emphasis on how uh, important and how groundbreaking this is for OBI um, 11G, um, having the ability to have that native drill down in a report for um, hierarchies that are unbalanced or if skip hierarchies in the same situation, in the same report, um, it's um, very paramount to this um, integration um, 
so what we're looking at here in this screenshot is just an uh, example that's just kind of clarifying what we're talking about when we're talking about unbalanced or skipped hierarchies. Now, an unbalanced hier hierarchy is really just a, a ragged hierarchy uh, any, anywhere where your, your hierarchy dimension is, is um, not equal at certain levels. And you can see that in the, the columnar breakout uh, and lineage where you have column A, B, C, and D here. And you can see that um, for, for brand two in column A, um, there's, it skips right to uh, column C for type three and type four. So that's going to be a ragged hierarchy for us. Now an example of a, a skip hierarchy would be where we're looking at maybe an, an organization or a geography um, type dimension where I might have um, region, state, um, district. And if I'm looking at an example of Washington, D.C., you know, I might have a region that Washington, D.C. belongs to, but Washington, D.C. might would not have a state. It would go all the way down to the district. So right there, there's an empty space between those different levels, and that's going to be what's referred to as a skip hierarchy. And so I really want to, again, drive it home, at just, just how paramount this functionality is to 11G, because it really does uh, allow S-based users to um, get on board and adopt the integration. So if you look into the left, here's our actual drill down in an actual OBI 11G report. We're looking at the employees dimension. Uh, we can see that uh, Michelle, um, the Michelle Lamberto group um, has several levels underneath of it. Um, one user, Arialo Miranda, Miranda but um, Arialo Miranda has um, no individual users under her, but there's other groups. So if you look over here to the um, S-based outline that we have, uh, we can see how that breaks out. So here's um, Aurelio Mirando um, with the alias, and there's no one underneath that person. So it reflects its one-on-one -on -one relationship now, uh, where in the past uh, this type of um, visualization wasn't possible. And for those interested in, in how the um, RPD handles the metadata um, integration or the importing of the S-based uh, outline, or database rather, um, it's a simple wizard now, so you're able to just select import database, and through uh, four steps within the um, RPD metadata, metadata integration wizard, uh, we're able to get at our S-based data source. And again, here's just another quick example, a visual example of drill down capability within OBI 11G, and again, handling that S-based data really nice and smoothly.